So these are the peaches that my daughter Jalen and I have cut up so far. This is a five gallon, is it five gallons? Not five gallons, it's, I don't know how many gallons this is. It's just an ice cream container. And um, we put the peaches in it and um, I'm gonna check out my recipe. It's a little over one gallon. I, I don't even know what I was thinking. Here is the um, the book that I'm using. Um, it's made by Ball, and the recipe that I'm going to be using are for um, peach preserves, and it calls for four cups of uh, sliced, pitted, peeled peaches, which it says is about four pounds, six tablespoons of Ball Classic pectin. I don't have Ball Classic pectin, but I have pectin two tablespoons of lemon juice, seven cups of sugar. You're to combine the peaches, the pectin, the lemon juice in a large sauce pot, bring to a boil, stirring gently, add sugar, stirring until dissolved, return to a rolling boil, boil hard one minute, stirring constantly, remove from heat, skim foam if necessary, and ladle hot preserves into hot jars, leaving a quarter inch headspace. Adjust the two-piece caps and process for 10 minutes in a boiling water canner. Now, if you've ever canned anything before, you know exactly what that means. But if you haven't canned anything before, you might not know what that means. Um, so what you need to do first is you need to make sure that your jars are washed. I've already washed mine in the um, dishwasher and I am gonna hand wash the um the lids and the um the two-piece caps the lids and the um i've just totally lost the lost the word at this at this point i do that a lot um anyways i'm gonna wash the two pieces and i'll show that i'll show that as well i'm gonna put the um the caps in a separate container um on the stove just on low heat and then i'll put the um the jars in a pot also heated um it might be common sense but you might not know it you cannot ladle the um hot liquid into cold jars because they'll they'll break and then usually what i'll do um after i ladle the stuff into the jars i'll set them on a towel on the um, counter and you don't want to move them around a lot um you don't want to move them around a lot. You just want to let them sit and seal. And you'll hear them. You'll hear them pop. If you come back later um, and they haven't sealed, then um, you need to, to rebath them. And, and what that means is it says process 10 minutes in a water boiling canner. Um, you really, you can use any pot. Um, sometimes I'll set a towel down in the bottom, um, but they make you know, regular pots for canning, but you'll, um, you'll boil them with the water over top of the jars and you'll do that for a solid 10 minutes. Now with these recipes, it's pretty um, important to follow it. So like, especially, and again, this is, you already know this if, you, if you've ever canned or made any jelly or made candy or anything like that. Um, it's important to follow the um, recipe very, um, closely because if you don't um if you don't like for instance boil the do the hard boil for one minute your your jam won't won't um cure is not the word but it will be thin it won't be thick enough and um the canning directions are important because the research has gone into these books. They know how hot it needs to get to um, to kill harmful bacteria. So if it says a 10 minute bath, you want to do a 10 minute bath. You want to know that your food is going to be safe to eat. And that depends on a lot of factors. It depends on the acid content, content the sugar content, the salt content. Um, and it's just really important to follow those rules. Okay, like I said, I'm going to wash the lids 
and then I am going to put them in some warm water on the stove. We have um, washed our lids and our rings and now I am going to cut these peach pieces a little bit smaller into four cups and then put them in my um, pot here. So we have our four cups of peaches, we have our lids and water, and we have our jars, these are half pint jars in uh, warm water. And so our next step is to combine peaches, pectin, and lemon juice and bring to a boil, stirring gently. So we're going to work on that. We have sure gel pectin, and we're going to be adding six tablespoons of this. So Juliet's my helper. She's going to help me. Do you want to fill it to the top? Okay. There's supposed to be six. Six. And then you're going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. start up and we're gonna be bringing this to a boil. How can we boil this? You're about to find out. Okay. You don't have to um, boil continuously. Boil continuously. You don't have to stir continuously. Just stir it up real good and then we have to wait for it to heat up. It smells really good. Yep. We're beginning to boil, so now we are going to add the sugar. Seven cups. Okay, stir it all up. Uh, I think this one will rot your teeth. So we're going to stir it until it's dissolved. So it looks like it's getting that way. Make sure you scrape along the sides too. Sugar got stuck on the bottom of my banana bread one. It did. And that good. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat up. Keep stirring. You don't have to stir constantly, but you have to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Stirring every once in a while. Now when it comes up to a hard boil, which is kind of like a rolling boil, You'll have to stir it constantly, and we'll have to watch the time. Okay. So and then, when there's very few chunks of it, and then it's done. What do you mean? When is it done? When it boils, 
boils for one minute or hard boil and you constantly stir it. Then you're gonna um, take it from the heat and you're gonna start putting it in the jars and you'll remove any foam if there's foam. Don't give any of the pots. Okay, so that's starting your hard boil. You have to you have to stir it constantly now. If you're afraid to get burned, I can do it. Okay, we're gonna start our minute. Yeah, I'm conflicted because we lost our hard boil. You can stop spoiling as soon as you go upstairs. Maybe that wasn't our hard boil because it's not boiling. We're going to give it a minute and see what it does. Because if you don't let it do the hard boil, then your your jam, your preserves aren't going to set right. So, you know what they say about a watch pot? What? It never boils. A watch pot? A watched pot. Uh -huh. So when you watch a pot, you know how when you watch something closely and it seems to take forever? Mm-hmm. You turn say, on for one second. They say a watched pot never boils. You can sit there and watch the rice, but once you turn around, it's going to start foaming. Looks like we now have our hard boil. Ow. Yeah, it's hot. So you stir it for one minute, stirring constantly, and then you'll take it off of heat. So I've got a, um, a towel back here where I'll set it you do have to be careful because it will pop you and it will burn you as Juliet just found out now we're going to ladle the hot peaches into the warm jars um, we've got this little device that lists the jars I apologize I don't know the name of my tools we also have this that has a magnet on the end to pick up your lids. So Juliet, go ahead and get a jar out and you have to dump the water out of it without burning yourself. Be careful, you have to get a good grip before you try to lift it. And it's not so easy because I've stacked these too high with um, a washcloth. I should have just got my big pot out. So go ahead and put it on the towel. Can I it in? You can if you're careful. Try not to get it on the lid. Hold on, we also want to use a, um, a funnel, actually. Yeah, I think this will work. This, my grandmother gave me. It actually belonged to my great grandmother, so this is the first time I've used it. Let's get it a little closer where it can be seen. Okay, so we need a quarter inch of head space. 
So these are little half pint jars. That's fine. I think you come all the way up to this line, but you want to use your um, you want to use your funnel because you don't want to get it on that the rim of the jar. Okay, that's probably enough. Uh, it's handy to have these towels, one, because it's hot and you don't want to mess up your countertop, and two, this is very messy. Now we're going to wipe off the rim of the, um, of the jar with a clean towel. And we're going to grab this little device and pick up a lid out of the pot. We're going to place it on the pot, on the jar. We were actually supposed to make sure there were no air bubbles with this, this as well, but we didn't do that. So um, we're just going to set that on there and then you're going to hand tighten it. Sometimes you're going to have to use um, pot holders and stuff to do this because it can be really hot. You want to just hand tighten it and then um, we're going to set it over here out of the way and try not to disturb it. So there's our first jar. Wait a little bit farther. Try not to do too much. Good. Yeah, I think so. And then you would take this tool and you would go down the sides of the jar and make sure that you don't have any air bubbles. I don't really see any air bubbles. And then you're going to wipe the rim again. I still got a little on It's okay. That's, that's why you wipe the rim. That's just to help you get a good seal. I got it a little right here. It's fine. Our first batch made eight half pint jars. So we've got them over here to the side to settle. Juliet's working on our second batch and I've got these haphazardly in here but I had to pull out some jars I had in the cabinet and some smaller lids because these aren't wide mouth. This is my water bath canner and in order to uh, water bath jam, jelly, anything that you're canning, you, you put it in here and then you're going to fill the water up an inch to two inches above the top of the cans. And the way that I do it is once the water starts boiling, that's when I start my timer. So these were, we already processed them, but these were processed for 10 minutes, just like the recipe said. And like I said in the beginning, that is very important because you want to be killing um, the bacteria and sealing them properly or it can make you sick. I only have one water bath canner so when I process these uh, jelly jars I process part of them in this one you see it has a, a bottom that comes out I think this just helps to keep the jars off of the, the bottom so that the jars don't break but also um, something that you can do is use another pot and just put a dish towel in the bottom and put your jars on top of that and that's how I processed the other the other um, jars that wouldn't fit into my canner. You could also just wait and do them separately. Either way works. Here we are. Our two batches of peach preserves. All jarred. 
Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning to uh, preserve peaches. And um, I've certainly learned that I need to get to those peaches a little sooner next time. So um, I hope you learned something with me, and I'll catch you next time.